Two shootings in Greenville this weekend. Police say a cyclist was shot near Legacy Park. Then the shooter was killed by an officer. 7 News' is Ann Maxwell standing by live where this all started. Ann. Gordon, according to police, that cyclist was shot and killed around 11 a.m. yesterday. Uh, I'm told the man suspected of shooting him has a history of hassling people in this area. One thing I kept hearing from neighbors was that could have been me. I knew something was going to happen because it was just so. He was so obviously not OK. Ann Moore says she always had a bad feeling about a man who hung around her Hollingsworth Park neighborhood almost every day. Once we had figured out what happened, we all knew that it was the crazy guy. That's what everybody called him, the crazy guy. Sunday, neighborhood resident Whit Oliver was cycling on Legacy Park Road when he called police to report that a man was harassing him. While dispatchers were on the phone, receiving information, they heard shots fired over the telephone and started relaying that information to officers that respond were responding here to this location. According to the coroner, Oliver died on site. The police chief says calls poured in from witnesses. In less than 10 minutes, police reported they pulled over a suspect next to the fire station on Verde Boulevard. According to the chief, the suspect got out of the car with a gun. There was an exchange of gunfire and the officers did return fire and the suspect is has been pronounced deceased. Neither officer was hurt. The coroner identified the suspect as 62 year old Jeffrey Mark Murray. Moore says she and some of her neighbors had previously called the police on him and he started yelling at us it, it, like making profane gestures and saying profane things and he had said um, that we had passed him three times already while we were walking and we most certainly hadn't passed him three times. Chief Thompson says police are continuing to investigate the shooting of Oliver and are looking into previous incidents too. As per Greenville Police Department policy, SLED has been called in to investigate that officer-involved shooting. Live in Greenville, Ann Maxwell, 7 News.